Every child needs a friend. Every child needs a hand. Every child needs someone in their corner. The learning's just begun. So come and have some fun. Inspired to be anything you want. Welcome to Kyra's Corner. Butterflies, let's learn. Hello, beautiful butterflies. I am so happy to see those beautiful faces out there. I really missed you. Today, I have a fabulous story that I want to read to you, and it's called Squiff and the Birthday Surprise. I am so excited. It's like the best story that I've ever read. Well, one of the best stories that I've ever read. But before we get into our story time, let's sing our hello song. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, butterflies, how are you? Oh, you guys sound so beautiful! Thank you so much for singing with Miss Kyra. I really appreciate it. Now, I have the great fairy tales and stories of all times right here in this big book. You know, sometimes I just wish, I just wish that I could be in this book and sharing all the adventures with these wonderful characters. Maybe if I wish really, really, really hard and I close my eyes and snap my fingers like this. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm inside of the book. I cannot believe it. Oh my goodness. Squiff. Hi, Squiff. This is so exciting. It says Squiff and the birthday surprise. I'm super excited. Okay. Let's go in and, and, and read the story. It was Saturday morning on the planet Blurg, and Squiff, the squishy space blob, was feeling excited. His friend, Bitsa, the robot, was having a birthday party, and Squiff had been invited. Oh wow, a birthday party! I love birthday parties! It looks like Squiff has an invitation. Let's find out what the invitation says. Squiff loved parties. He loved the games, he loved seeing all his friends, and he loved the presents, even when they weren't for him. But most especially of all, he loved the food. Squiff loved to eat. He'd only had one bowl of moon flakes and four pieces of toast for breakfast, so that he would have lots of room for party food. He could hardly wait. Luckily, it doesn't take a squishy space blob very long to get dressed, so Squiff was soon ready. He picked out a nice purple bow tie and carefully made sure that it was on straight. He thought about brushing his hair, but then felt a bit silly when he remembered he didn't have any. <laughs> he said goodbye to his teddy bear Spiff and set off happily down the garden path to his rocket ship. He decided to fly to Bissa's house, as it was quite a long way to walk. He was just about to climb into his rocket when he noticed a spider busily spinning a web on one of the fins. The little creature was working so hard that Squiff decided not to disturb it by blasting off in his rocket. It was a nice day for a walk, and there was plenty of time before the party started. He set off towards Bitsa's house. Clink the robot lived next door to Squiff, and he was out in front of his garden, painting the fence. Squiff <coughs> popped his head over the fence to say, Hello! But Clink was a bit deaf and didn't see very well either. So he didn't notice. Oh, it's Clink! Hi, Clink! Oh no! You'll see what happens next. Ooh. I'm gonna walk over here. Squiff, I'll meet you down the street, okay? <laughs> oh no. He thought 
thought Squiff's face was part of the fence and painted it as well. <laughs> Luckily, Squiff closed his eyes before any paint got into them. And when he checked his bow tie, he found it was still clean. He gave his old neighbor a smile and set off again. Before too long, Squiff started to feel a bit hungry. He was often hungry, and his miniature breakfast felt like it had been a long time ago. He looked around for something to eat, and soon came across a Jupiter berry tree loaded with ripe, juicy Jupiter berries. The berries were a bit too high for Squiff to reach, so he gave the tree a shake. Berries began to fall down, an especially big and juicy one landed with a splat right in the middle of his face. Squiff was so hungry that he kept shaking anyway. Squiff had a lovely and messy feast of berries and then decided he better keep moving. He hadn't gone far before he came across a young, squishy space blob sitting at the foot of a tree, looking unhappy. What's the matter? He asked. It's my kite, replied the little blob, pointing up into the tree. It's stuck. Don't worry said Squiff with a smile. The tree was quite a tall one and the kite was a long way up. But that wasn't a problem for a big squishy space blob like Squiff. He stretched two long thin arms out of his body, reached up and gave the kite a good hard tug. Oh, he looks so sad, but I think Squiff has it. Let's cheer him on. Go, Squiff, go! You got it! Let's wait for Squiff on the other side, just in case he may need our help pulling down the kite. It came free. But so did the old bird's nest that it had been stuck in there. The nest fell with a plop right onto Squiff's head. He gave the kite back to the happy little blob who thanked him politely, but seemed to be looking at Squiff in a funny way. Squiff set off again, feeling glad that he had been able to help. He was almost at Bits' house and was thinking happily about his first piece of birthday cake. Wow, Blurg is such a wonderful place to be at, but I'm starting to hear something. And I see something up in the sky. Swift, come on! I don't like the sounds of what I'm listening to. I think I'm gonna walk this way and move away. Then there was a whooshing noise coming from above. And then an enormous splat right in front of him. It was an ice cream comet. The comet had crashed into the ground right on the path to Bitsa's house leaving an enormous sticky mess in Squiff's way. That sort of thing happened quite a bit on Blurg, and normally nobody minded it too much because it meant that when it was time for dessert, you could just go outside with your shovel and get as much as you liked. Of course, it was very important to wash your shovel first. Squiff did mind a bit though, because he wanted to get to Bitsa's house. He tried to walk over the ice cream, but found that he kept sinking into it and getting stuck. He thought about eating his way through, but wasn't quite sure that he could eat that much ice cream. Plus, he wanted to leave some room for the party food. Then Squiff had a better idea. He stretched two big snowshoes out of his body. 
Although, if you want to be picky, they were really ice cream shoes and set off happily over the sticky goop. Finally, Squift arrived at Bitsa's house and was just about to knock on the door when he suddenly realized that he had forgotten something. Squip got the birthday present. It was left on the table. Maybe we can do something. Like, sing happy birthday. You know Miss Kyra loves singing. There's the music. <gasps> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bitsa. Happy birthday to you. You got it. Happy birthday to you. I think he's gonna like that song. Okay, let's get on to the party. <laughs> he had left Bitsa's present at home on the dining table. What was he going to do? It was too late to go back for it now, as he could hear the party already going on inside the house. He would just have to apologize to Bitsa and give him the present the next time he saw him. Feeling a bit sad, he knocked on the door. It wasn't long before a smiling Bitsa opened the door. He looked surprised for a moment, but then his smile grew even bigger. Hi, Squiff! He beamed. I'm so glad you could make it. Squiff looked at the ground. Hi, Bitsa. I'm really sorry. I forgot your... He began, but Bitsa interrupted him. And thanks for my present, too. It's lovely. What on the blurg was Bitsa talking about? Whiff wondered, too. What surprise? He asked. Bitsa chuckled happily. <laughs> Why? Coming to my party as a clown, of course. The end. That was an amazing story. That was so much fun. I think it's time to go back into Kyra's Corner, which is always a fun thing. I guess we have to talk about what we learned in today's story. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> wow! <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. I'm back. I, I can't believe it. Did I just come out of this book? I did. Oh my gosh. All I did was just close my eyes snap my fingers and I was outer space with Squiff. I cannot believe it. <laughs> that was the absolute coolest thing that Miss Kyra has ever done. Okay? Oh my goodness. What fun I had helping Squiff as we were trying to get to his friend's birthday party. You know what? All of those things that he came up against, he didn't let anything distract him. He was so focused on getting to his friend's birthday party. And he was very kind and helpful along the way. You know what? Sometimes that happens to Miss Kyra too. Like I'll be trying maybe to get to work or get to the supermarket or even to the mall or something and I'll get distracted. But I have to remember, okay, I have to get to the supermarket because there's things that I have to do. And you know what? That may even happen to you if you're trying to go to school or trying to do chores around the house. You know what? What you need not to do is be distracted. Wow, that's really smart. You have to focus on what it is that you promised to do. Not only for, you know, your parents or your aunts or uncles or whomever, but for yourself. There are so many lessons that we can learn from Squiff and we can be able to use those lessons in our own lives. That's what I love. You know, as he was trying to get to the birthday party, he didn't get distracted. He was kind to others. 
he helped others, and he came up as a clown. <laughs> I mean, all of those different adventures that he had, that was so funny. Oh my goodness, the paint. Oh, oh my gosh, and even the ice cream. There were so many things that he just came up against, but <laughs> at the end, he made his friend very, very, very happy. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I was able to sing happy birthday. And you know how Miss Kyra loves to sing. This was the absolute best time that I've ever had. And I hope that it has been for you too. That's another incredible story on Kyra's Corner. Please like and subscribe and tell others about Kyra's Corner. And you too can share the adventure with Miss Kyra. Until then. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye! If you would like to see another episode of Kyra's Corner, please subscribe and click like. I can't wait to see you beautiful butterflies again. Remember, be kind to each other and be kind to yourself. Bye!